Big Show with Night and Day. Pick up a Night and Day milk bar card and get your sixth shake for free. Don't fight it. It's time to go up a size. This is the biggest, the biggest, the biggest. This is the biggest. Our biggest show. The Hodaki Big Show. With Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. Now, good day, you mad bastards. Great to have your company this Wednesday afternoon, the 28th of February, 2024. And you, my friends, are listening to The Big Show. Brought to you by night and... Hey. Uh, Mogi is always looking sensational, but I just love it when you get the guns out, mate, oh, and you yeah. wear that tight white singlet. Good on you, mate. How are you, bloody, stallion? Bloody grouse to be here, you mad dog, you sick son of a bee, and uh, had, an, had just a beautiful day today. And Great stuff. Yes. Uh, just got out there, been doing some wood chopping, uh, been turning the earth. Nice, mate. With a plough. I've got a plough at home and a mule. A mule. Um, so getting a bit done around the house, which has been bloody good, and then coming here for a bit of a chit chat with you, backbones. Yeah, it's great to have your company, mate. Good having you uh, with on board, us, brother, uh, Thanks, and on man. board. Keezy, you came in massively hyper today, mate. Uh, what's going on for you? Did I? Yeah, oh, you were just bouncing off the bouncing walls, bouncing off man. the walls. What's oh, I didn't happening? realize. Nah, Are sorry, you fellas. Want something, Keezy? Am I too full on? Should I turn it down, or is it good? Oh, I fellas. Sh- I mean, it is what it is. It, it, yeah, I mean, right. Well, we're I mean, used to your eccentricities, Keezy. Right, my eccentricities. Yeah, yeah cool, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, But I'm doing good, thanks, fellas. Um, I'm wearing a long black sleeve skivvy thing. Oh, Jace, wow, you sure are. It's got the doors on. I don't know you like the doors, it's man. So cool, oh no, man. Mogi. It's so retro. Yeah. No, no, the doors is a band, man. Oh, yeah, it's not just doors. Oh, I thought it was just you love doors. Nah. I was like, look at Keezy. He's got a shirt and it's got doors, doors. written on it. Nah. It's like, man, this dude loves. Doors. doors. By the way, Jace has got a new blue shirt I haven't seen in ages. It looks like um, it's not new. Keezy, like when for you a start, t- like someone quite out there has picked the tiles in the bathroom. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. That's the kind of the pattern of the button-up short sleeve shirt that you're wearing. Thanks, man. That is nice. I like it. it. I like yeah, that shirt. Yeah, yeah, thanks, man. I like your haircut, too. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, thanks, fellas. Feeling and good about that. And I like that. your, um, you've trimmed your beard a bit. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's well, nice. I bought one of those. It'll, you, you can do it yourself. And yeah. the hair, which I'm very, I'm going to look so cool over the next few months. Hey, now, listen, everyone that texts through on 348 through 3 or gives us a talk back on the iHeartRadio app or gives us a call I on 0800 Hodak, he goes in the draw for a $50 night and day voucher. Hey, just quickly, fellas, um, question through on 3483. I know it's not shout-out Friday. No. Are we allowed to give Paul Murray a 50th birthday shout-out? No. No, no absolutely no, it's not. not. Friday. That's sorry, why Paul. we started the rule, because of bloody Paul. Yeah, sorry, Paul. I'd love to wish you a happy birthday, mate, but nah. I guess we can't. Now, listen, a massive show ahead. Uh, yeah. Coming up next, actually, talking to that cricketing legend, Neil Wagner. Really looking forward to that, fellas. Uh, we've got Corey gonzalez McCure coming in later on, comedian. And also, we finally uh, are going to resolve this ZM uh, night show scenario, because there's Good. been some movement there, Keezy. Okay. Good, okay, we need to f- finish that off. But in the meantime, let's get back. Oh, no, wait. Text us, 3483. Where are you listening to the show and what are you wearing? Here's number 217 on the GOAT countdown. Bit of Black Sabbath. You're listening to Horaki's greatest of all time countdown. 217. Black Sabbath. War Pigs. The Horaki Big Show Podcast. Jeez, that was pretty full on, wasn't it, fellas? Tune. Uh, That's sis- a tune. The system of a down there coming in at number uh, 216 on the GOAT countdown. Now, yesterday, a big day for all cricket-loving fans out there. One of the legends, one of the legends of the game, uh, the one and only Neil Wagner, retired from um, international cricket, and he was so very good, fellas, to join us on the show today. He's on the line now. Neil, uh, how are you going, mate? G'day, guys. Uh, yeah, I'm all right. How are you guys? Yeah, good, thanks, Neil. And look, I've got to say, mate, genuinely, uh, as a cricket fan, I just want to congratulate you on an absolutely outstanding international career. It's no joke that you're a huge favourite among New Zealand cricket fans because you gave 150% for every ball you bowled, for every ball you face, every time you are out there. I know it was an emotional day for you yesterday. Call uh, that retirement, mate. How have you come up today how are you feeling today yeah thank you mate no i appreciate the kind words um yeah it means a lot it's uh yeah it hasn't really sunk in yet um yeah it was quite emotional again today just um last training of the lads and obviously last time wearing putting the clothes training of the boys being out there um yeah it is uh it is a nickly, nickly sort of 
situation is never nice to say goodbye, but all good things got to come to an end. And I think, yeah, after this test match, we'll sink in and can sit down and have a couple of beers and, and reflect on, on their, a pretty amazing um, 12 years to be a part of a special group. G'day Neil, Mogi here mate um, Yeah, I'm sort of feeling the same way about it I'm not uh, I'm not 100% a happy man uh, <laughs> To be completely honest with you I feel like there's been a horrendous mistake made But let's just let's just forget it ever happened man And uh, just rejoin the team eh? Because it, do, it just doesn't It doesn't feel good <clears throat> Yeah, no, it, it, that's life And it, it's, um, it's sad like You never want it to end It's uh, it's something that I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, but, yeah, the body and, and the mind still feels all right. But, obviously, the age is ticking on. And you got to look at, at, at the bigger picture and, and, obviously, where cricket is going and, and also, I guess, the years coming through, um, giving him time to, to grow the team and put into that role and, and hopefully set a bar for, for those boys to, to chase and, and make, I mean, yeah, I guess make the team even better than, than what we... Well, we've tried to make it. So, um, yeah, that's it for there now. But there's some great guys coming through um, the ranks. And, and yeah. Um, yeah. They're all rubbish compared to you, yeah, Neil. Yeah, they're all really rubbish. rubbish. I just want to make a point too, actually, uh, Neil. You know, I think it's about 260-odd test wickets and an average of 27. That is a massively impressive uh, bowling record at test cricket. Do you, did you ever get frustrated sometimes? You know, because often you'll be, you know, the fourth or fifth change on the ground. Did that ever get you a little bit fired up? You felt like you should be bowling a bit earlier? Because I know you love to bowl. Did you ever get pissed off on the field, Neil? Uh, yeah, I always do. Uh, <laughs> I always thought that Tim and Kane tried to make me angry so I could get angry. <laughs> that was, like, that was hey, my theory too. I said that stuff is getting old now. Like, just give me the ball earlier. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> man. Yeah, uh, no, I don't know if it was tactical or what it was, but no, it definitely fired me up. That's, there's no doubt about that. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, oh, yeah. Neil Keezy here, mate. Just a quick question. I can hear uh, what sound like young kids in the background. Obviously, you've got your family around you, mate. You see you're going to be um, you know, pouring yourself into family life. That's great. Have you? We're literally one day in, but have you had any thoughts for post-cricket? Anything that does strike your fancy? You think, hmm, wouldn't mind trying something like that? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'll be chasing the backhash game, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> but, but no, nah, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, I still want to play some domestic cricket. I thought about you know dipping my toes into some leagues and stuff overseas if someone wants me fingers crossed um, yeah something will come up of that but yeah after cricket haven't really thought about it yet I sort of take it as it comes and um, yeah got about yeah, a year or two now to try and, try and figure that out and take it day by day and yep. we'll see what what is uh, in the horizon I guess Well just to give you a little heads up here the ACC uh, have got a game coming up in the Dulux uh, 11 and we're actually looking for a uh, <laughs> we're actually looking for a bowler to come in and take us to our oh, first mate, victory actually message me about that so, <laughs> I need to have a little look around if I'm around the 15th but I could be I could be keen I tell you what man you take some wickets you well, take some work. Sorry, Neil. You need to know as well that the uh, the ACC eleven hasn't actually won a game yet. So, <laughs> well, the thing is, actually, uh, I, I, by the by looks of things, how many beers gets consumed? I don't know if I can bowl straight then. But, yeah, uh, but, uh, bowling. Keen, that's for sure. Bowling straight's not a priority in those matches, there, Neil. But hey, listen, just to wrap it up, mate. Uh, once again, congratulations on an outstanding career, and and genuinely and heartfelt, uh, you will be missed, mate. Uh, all the best for whatever endeavour you take on in the future, whether it be cricket related or coaching related or whatever and thanks so much for being such a legend of the game here in New Zealand Yeah, no, thank you very much, it's very kind guys, I really appreciate it. Good on you mate There goes a goddamn backbone, backbone. Huge backbone. Massive backbone <laughs> David Bowie now, song 215 on the go The Hauraki Big Show Podcast Yes indeed, number 213 on the GOAT countdown there, Celebrity Skin by Hole so good. Uh, that song, Celebrity Skin by Hold, 278 last year. So slightly moving up the old charts there, fellas. Yeah, that one, stuff. of course, um, written by Billy Corgan. That tune from yes. Smashing Pumpkins, as were the majority of the hits of Hole, particularly on the on the more recent couple of albums. He sort of got into a uh, what you could only call a sexual relationship. Actually, Keezy, cover your ears, mate. Oh, I'm, I'm 32. Co- no, 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 oh. cover them up. Okay. Good on you, mate. 
they were having a sexual relationship, Jace. Right. Okay. It was quite passionate. Yes. A lot of love making mm-hmm. um, and a lot of writing music as often happens when you've been uh, when you've fallen in love or lust or something hey. like that. You're all good now, Keys. Yeah. You can take well, you have a it. muse. A muse. That's yes. right. Great stuff. Now, listen. It's time for name that tool. We're going to play a tool. If you know what it is, give us a call on oh eight hundred Hodaki. Uh, and you could win yourself an amazing prize. All right, you can take your hands off your ears now, Keezy, because it's just accentuating a mess of snores doing that. What? Are you guys talking to me? What we were saying is that... um, Can I take my ears off now? You can't take your ears off, Can I take my hands off my ears now? Yeah, you can. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Far out. Sounded dirty, fellas. Did you mention um, Name That Tool? No, but I did mention your massive snores. He did. Um, Could you play the tool, please, Keezy? Oh, go on, Keezy. Only if you apologise. Nah, just joking, Jace. We all know that you've got the um, biggest nose out of all of us. This is the tool you're listening for, all right? It is a nail gun. Sorry, I've just said what it is. <laughs> no, nah, but I don't think people will get it. I don't think... I mean... What the... <laughs> What the hell was that? All right, call us uh, 0800 Hodaki. Okay, what do you now, think the now, tool is? Now you re- replay, replay it? Yeah, here it's it is. It's a nail gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and here is the old stage of the air. But what is it? On the big show, it's time to name that tool. Oh, it's a tough one today, oh, fellas. It is a tough, can that you just it. play it again, please, Keezy? Uh, what, the nail gun? All right, here it is. And what is it again, Keezy? Uh, it's a tool. Yeah, uh, yeah, what is it? Uh, oh, it's a nail gun. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you know how it works in New Zealand. You call us 0800 Hodak if you think you can guess what it is based on the noise you could win yourself a sweet prize. Uh, should we go to the lines and see what we got there? Yeah, I think uh, let's go with old Josh. Josh, Josh, your massive backbone. How's life? G'day, you mad bastards. Going well. Yeah, see if you good. can work this one yeah, out, Can Josh. you tell us what this is, Josh? I'll go with a nail gun. Oh, well done, oh, mate. Oh, well done, man. Correct, mate. Well done. You obviously know your tools, Josh. Oh, man, I know them quite well. Josh, oh, yeah. can I ask you, Josh, man, and we should have asked you this before, to be fair, what do you do for a crust, brother? Mate, I'll tell you what, I'm a plumber. Yeah! yeah. Backbone! That is backbone. Yeah, mate. Good yeah. on you, Josh. Well, uh, tell Josh what he's won there, Keezy. Uh, Josh. Mean, you told everyone everything <laughs> about your house. He wants to do that. <laughs> So okay. Uh you've won a DeWalt 18 volt cordless handheld wet and dry vac 1.9 liter Josh. How good. Jeep is good. How it's handy beautiful. is that for a plumber, man? Oh mate, all sorts. Oh, you've actually, used that, that actually to... does sound bloody good for it a plumber. Does. Yeah, it really does. Really good. Well, Josh, you enjoy that prize, mate. Thanks for playing. Hey, tune in tomorrow when you can hear uh Tune in tomorrow when you can hear Keezy tell us what tomorrow's tool is going to be. Yeah, uh, tomorrow it's a grinder, by the way. Um, hey, back to the countdown, uh, and a big shout-out to our mates at Placemakers. The Monster Tool Sale is on right now. It's back. It's bigger than ever. Head to your local Placemakers store, grab yourself a deal, heaps of prizes and low, low prices as well. Yeah, in the meantime, here's number 212, Led Zeppelin. 1,000 songs, but only one can be the ghost. 212, Led Zeppelin, whole lot of love. The Hodaki Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Oh, shit. 211, their Deftones, Be Quiet and Drive, far away in brackets. By the way, last year that song was 488th on the Goat oh Countdown. Uh, I went into trouble with that song, if I recall. Uh, you went into trouble, what? Yeah, I know, strange as it is. Whoa. Now, listen, coming up after 5 o'clock, lots going on. Of course, the countdown, the GOAT countdown continues. Uh, we've got Corey gonzalez McCure coming in, the comedian, to have a yeah. little chit-chat to us. Yeah. Also, we need to resolve this whole ZM issue. Uh, just a quick note regarding the GOAT as well. Now that we're getting into the top sort of 200, yeah. songs are starting to get longer. Yes. Because uh, a lot of the rock epics are in there, so uh, the GOAT will be pushing right through to about 6 tonight, I reckon. What? Yeah, yeah so fellas. good, so good. Good. All that after five. The Hodaki Big Show podcast. Catch them weekdays from four on Radio Hodaki. Welcome back, you massive backbones. You're listening to the Big Show brought to you by night and, and day. 
Hey, just on the cricket, fellas, looking forward to that test match tomorrow. And let's hope New Zealand can redeem themselves after that debacle T20 series. Scott him, he's gone. Uh, we, haven't been, we haven't been in Australia at home for over 20 years. Is that right? Yeah, man, unbelievable. So I'll, I'll be tuning into that Jeez. tomorrow, 11 o'clock. I, we did, oh, it's at the Basin, sold out Basin. Which looking is good forward to see. To um, just quickly, fellas, can I just address something that's currently happening online? Sure. So we've uploaded a nice photo of me and my trucky there on the old Hodaki page, right? Yes. Um, and you can read the full article at uh, drivencarguide.co.nz. Every single comment is about how it's not actually my trucky and my dad, it's my dad's. I just want to clear up that it is, in fact, my truck. Yeah. And that my dad helped me a wee bit, but it was largely me doing all the work He on helped it. you a little bit with the socials, but he did 100% yeah, yeah. of the, the building work, of the, of the well, no, See, this yeah, is what's yeah, making yeah. it worse. See, this yeah. is what I don't want. What do you mean the facts are getting in the way of a good uh, story a good from story. your point. Because well, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're like going around saying, I built a truck, but really... No, I'm saying we built a truck together. Oh, yeah. Well, the, yeah, yeah, Father yeah, and we. son, like Cat <laughs> yeah. Stevens. Can yeah. I just say, uh, look, I know Don, your father, is a, uh, a, a backbone of a human being. And yeah. I just find it a little, I'm, I'm a little shocked, Keezy, that you try and take credit for all his hard well, jacket. I'm not taking I mean, credit, no. You know what I mean? Uh, he no, really not. put his heart and soul into that little truckie of yours. It's and not little either. For, for you to sort of, sort of try and make out that it was a team effort, sure, you did some good photos of it. And yeah. yes, you cleaned the tyres. And you do look after it because you know when you've got to go and play around a golf you put the uh the clubs in the passenger seat next to you as opposed to in the tray because you don't want it to scratch up yeah you know i mean that's that's backbone shit brother and can i also in terms actually fellas just forget i even brought it up in terms of you being a backbone <laughs> by the way can i also make the point mogi that um keezy doesn't like to drive it in the rain no because it might like, get dots on it yeah it might get wet yeah, might get dots on it. That's my reason. Uh, just forget I even mentioned it, fellas. Let's just crack on with the goat, shall we? Yeah, well, <laughs> speaking of the goat, we're going to be going all hour with the goat by the looks of it. So let's get into number 210, a bit of Nirvana. This is Hodaki's greatest of all time countdown. Number 210, Nirvana, all apologies. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Yes, indeed. Iron Man, Black Sabbath there, 209 on the GOAT Countdown. Tune. Tune. It's just gone, tune. It's gone massively up, in fact, more than double. Uh, last year, if you can believe it, 481. I wow. had it at my number six this year. I had, Damn, it, I had it at 14. <sighs> that is out. a tune. Yeah, yeah. It's about a man made out of iron. That's crazy. Out of it. So crazy. Hey, Where fellas, did they come up with these ideas? No, nah, seriously, though, fellas. Like, all funny goat chat's all good. Um, but Why is that funny? Well, you know, oh, Iron Man, that's out of it, crazy. But what I want to know is, what the hell's happening with the ZM Night Show? Thing? Has it been bugging you, man? Oh, do I have to play it? I don't really feel like I'm in the... Oh. It's been bugging me! Well, we've got some news, don't we, Hoity Joe, yeah. on that front? Good news and bad news, some people would say. Yes, I, I would... Put it that way, uh, Mogi. Good news and bad news. Right. Well, what do you want? Um, the news is that we, that is to say, Hoyt J and I, have been offered the job of ZM Night Show. Of ZM Night Show. Can cool. You well done, that, fellas. Can you play that applause one? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Not that we need it, but but to be honest, you can turn that off because we're not in it for the adulation. We're in it to make great radio. Right. Okay. Totally. okay. Well, you should have just not asked me to play it. Yeah. Um, well, look. I want to be honest, I'm a bit upset about it because I was the one that was applying for it. Um, yeah. I know you guys ended up getting off of the job. Well done. Thank Congratulations. You. Thanks, Thanks Keezy. That's I'd, really, really big And year. to be honest, man, big year, Keezy. W- when you applied for it and you told us about it, that's what gave us the idea. Exactly. That's what gave us the idea to apply because I, I don't, hadn't even heard of it. I would never have thought in a million years to do that until no. you mentioned it. I hadn't even heard of Zim. Z- it's called ZM, not yeah. Zim. You don't run them all together. Um... <laughs> Right, well, the, and the thing that, to be honest, the thing that's annoying me about the whole thing is that my demo reel was clearly better than yours. Wow, well, it's better, wow. not better. Sorry, that's like better suited. I thought, and then I thought yours was almost like a cheap imitation, is what I was thinking. Yeah, well, I mean, you'll have to talk to the brass over at ZM. Yes, that, ZM uh, was it? Yeah, because they felt differently, obviously. Right, you know what I mean. No, I don't know. I think the proof is in the pudding. Well, totally. Can you write that down, Keezy? Yeah, proof, proof is, is in, in the, the pudding. pudding. Uh, because obviously we got offered the role and uh, you didn't even make the shortlist. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you nah, want nah, to, nah, nah, nah. what you can do, I mean, we can play them. I mean, let, let the people the, decide. Let the people decide. 
What? Let the people decide what? Who, who, who has the better show reel? Yeah, we'll take callers, we'll take texts on 3483, and we'll what, take talkbacks. Um, whatever you want. There's no point. They sound pretty damn identical in my eyes. Well, well people will have an opinion. This, the, people tend to have opinions. Yes, and this is the issue, too. You miss the subtleties of radio. You don't have our experience here. That's right. Easy. Yeah. All right, fine. We'll let the people decide. 3483. Three. You can also call on 0800 Hodaki, whose demo reel for ZM Nights was the best. Play yours first, Keezy. Here's mine, the one that failed to even get me on the short list. <laughs> Oh, g'day, it's ZM Nights, the night show with me, Keezy. It was my girl, Taylor Swift. So I'm a real Swifty right here. Uh, did you go to the concert over the weekend? Hit me up. Give me a text, let me know how it was. Because I'm a real Tay-Tay girl. Speaking of, oh, another one of my girl. It's old Dua Lipa. It's a chin. Tune up next, Beyonce. You're on the ZM Night Show, fam. What's up, what's up, what's up, fam? With me, Keezy. ZM. Right, so there's my one. Clearly, a more polished product. Just well, takes, I mean, it lacks a little bit of flow as far yeah, as and I'm finesse, concerned. as far yeah. as I'm concerned. All right, well, here's your guys' joke of a demo. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah. She is such a goddess, am I right? Oh, she's my princess, man. I tell you what, coming up, Ooh. a little bit of uh, my baby girl, Katy Perry, as well. <laughs> She'll be knocking out the tunes not too long. <laughs> and a bit of uh, do a lip coming up. <laughs> what a goddess, am I right? <laughs> yeah, I reckon so. It'll be about time for a little bit of Beyonce, though, eh? Oh! She is such a goddess, eh? You're on ZM! Ha ha! 208 coming up, by the way, uh, next. But you decide on who has the best show reel then. Text us 3483, give us a call, do whatever the hell you want. Yeah, 0800 Hodaki is the number. Everyone that uh, contributes in the draw for a 50 line night and day voucher. You're listening to Hodaki's greatest of all time countdown. 208. The doors break on through to the other side. The Hodaki Big Show. Weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Yes, indeed. 207 on the uh, GOAT countdown. A bit of sound garden for you fellas. Uh, uh, good. That song, by the way, has dropped down this year. was 114 on last year's GOAT. Wow, wow. that's crazy. Actually, just on the GOAT real quick. Uh, big shout out to BK Burger King for making it all possible with the Burger GOAT, the Whopper. And uh, Dan from Wellington will be flying up on Friday and having a crack at winning possibly 100 thousand dollars yeah he'll be shitting himself let's be honest yeah he will hey uh fellas we just played both um demo reels for the zm night show gig obviously you were offered the job once again congratulations thanks um, Keezy. thanks they man turned me down didn't even get on the short re- uh, short list for it yeah i uh, played both back to back the texts are in and i've got to say that um it's finally i've realized the difference yeah yeah, yeah. um good <sighs> Don't be mad, Keezy. The old dogs are just better than you. Um, both weren't amazing, but uh, the second one made me feel less nauseous. Um, <laughs> Keezy sounded so amateurish, uh, amateurish and desperate for listeners. Jason Mogi, absolute professionals through and through. Thanks, mate. Um, a lot of people were calling for uh, me to be replaced by Mike McRoberts now. Oh, yeah. Um, That's a good idea. Actually, yeah. I see or the Patty similarities Gower. there, Keezy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, um, Samantha Hayes. I apologise. You said, by the way, there was good news and bad news. I'd be happy to have Samantha Hayes to fill in for Keezy. Can I, I just say more, more than front, happy? Yeah, more than happy. Yeah. To the I'd front, be really fellas. stoked. What do, you, what do you mean? Um, yeah, well, I guess the. Uh, I get, Well, the news is that we turned it down, Keezy, because we want to stay here at Hodeki. Radio Hodeki, the big show. Okay. Yeah, I know the name. So you've so turned it down. Yeah, we turned it down. So they, um, they so the good news is for you is that we're staying here. You guys are staying. Yeah. yeah. Ma'am. And so who are they? What what's the deal? Is it available? Uh I haven't even looked into it. Yeah, I mean I am assuming it's available, Keezy. Yeah, of course it is. It won't be available to you though, because right. they've already decided that you're not up to it. So they haven't decided on who's doing it, but they've decided I'm not doing One it. One thing yeah. they know they actually they're thinking about just abolishing the idea of a night show entirely. If it's up to either not having us or having you, you, they'd rather not bother. Yeah, so they'll totally. just have silence for five hours. Oh, yeah. just music, tunes, man. Oh, yeah. A bit of tulip there. 
Yeah, well, one text here did say at least Keezy can pronounce Dua Lipa's name properly. <laughs> oh, it depends. What, it depends what country you're from in terms of how you pronounce it, though, yeah. Keezy. Where are you she's from? She's from Argentina. Oh, yeah, right, okay. exactly, mate. So, um, all right. So we're go. all staying here. Yeah, and it's just a loyalty thing, really. Can we just put the whole thing behind us then and pretend it never happened? And pretend yeah. I'm happy to be here and we're all getting on great. Yeah, sure, man. Hey, uh, coming up next, we've got comedian Corey Gonzalez McHugh because uh, he's doing a big tour of the South Island. We'll chat to him next, fellas. What do you say? Yeah. The Hodaki Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Yes, indeed, Sublime. They're coming in at 2.06 on the uh, GOAT Countdown. What I got now, uh, we've got comedian Corey Gonzalez McHugh in the uh, studio with us Corey you mad bastard how's life not bad guys thank you for having me yeah it's, look it's an absolute pleasure to have you Corey you're looking great you've been working out man mm, uh, oh, not as much as I'd like to lately yeah. had, right. uh, had my birthday last week so I had a few days not doing anything do you have a birthday yeah. uh, birthday or do you have a birth week um, everyone's got a, a birth day yes yeah, yeah. Uh, I used How to do, do like, like a birth it? month, but um, yeah, it's just been, just a birthday this this year. Yeah, it looked, it looked like it was pretty good. I saw a little bit of it on the Instagram there. You invited me along, and as I told you um, over text message, I was in a world of um, shame because I'd been yeah, out what, drinking the night before. Oh, is that what? I thought yeah, you said yeah. you had work on. Nah. Oh right. No, 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 no. I was. Uh, Didn't I you was, say it sounded like a world of lame? I was busy <laughs> hating myself, <laughs> and so I, think, there. so I missed out. Was it? Was it good times? Yeah, it was good times. Pretty um, chilled compared to other years. Yeah. yeah, I think we're getting older, so a bit more chilled. And, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I find too, you know, when you're just talking on on hangovers because I am, um, you know, as you get older, they take longer to recover from, Corey, I find. Yep. You know, yep. it used to be, you know, do douche the night before, get up, let's go again, let's go hard. Now yep. it's like do douche and then it's, oh, the next day's bad, the next day after that's bad and the day after that's bad as well. Yeah, it's a week. I've got to, It's a week done. Yeah, take a yeah. week off. Yeah. Uh, Not just well, have a job. But, just yeah. quick, I mean, we've plugged Corey's birthday, uh, so that we'll take that off the list. Um, you got a comedy show coming up. Hang obviously, on, man, we're talking about drinking. We, oh, yeah, we're oh, oh, sorry, oh, fellas. We were talking about here. Yeah, Kizzy. okay, all good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you do have a comedy yeah, show oh, coming okay. up, uh, Corey. Tell us about that, mate. In the South Island, right, and, yes, um, beautiful in the beautiful parts of the South yeah, Island too. Yeah, very white areas that we're going to. Yes. <laughs> we, uh, so it's, I'm going on a South Island tour. It's my mate uh, David Correos from uh, Taskmaster, and my friend Paul Douglas from Comedy Gala Seven Days, a few other shows. Uh, one of our good friends is getting married down there in Wanaka, and nice. it's very expensive. So we've um, tried to figure out a way how to make money while we're there, so we're going to put on some shows. Nice. Absolutely. Yeah. So just looking here, March 6th, you'll be at uh, Wanaka at the Rhymex Reason uh, Brewery. Rhyme and Reason, yeah. yeah. Rhyme and Reason, sorry. I've actually been there too. Oh, oh really? Have you, Keezy? Is it cool? It's really did good. Did you do yeah. stand-up when you were down there, man? Because Keezy does stand-up. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, he came on one of my shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he did, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Haven't yeah, been invited it. back. I don't know what that's about. Oh, I actually, literally emailed you last week. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> actually, just on that front, because you didn't get the ZM job, why don't you, I mean, Corey, do you, you think you could fit another comedian on the Yeah, uh, well, he wants to just take over it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I could I could drive you guys. Yep. Um, head back down to Rymex Reason. I mean, Rhyme and Reason. Uh, yeah. March 8th, Queenstown, Sky City Casino. March 9th, in Gore yep. at the old Croydon Lodge. And then uh, the 10th, Invercargill at the Tuatara Bar. Yep. Um, those two blokes you're going with, Kareos and uh, Paul Douglas as well, two of my favourite New Zealand comedians. Oh, yeah. I feel like I haven't met either of them. Um, I feel like that car ride is going to be an interesting one. Yeah. Like, they seem like high-energy, full-on dudes. Yeah. So Paul's wife was going to come with us, but then she saw that it was us three, and she was like, yeah, no, you guys... You, guys <laughs> you just go and fill your boots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Fair call. So, Fair yeah, but call. Um, I think David isn't really drinking at the moment, so... Is he, he's saving it up all for this trip, for, though, yeah, isn't well, like, yeah, I mean, yeah. how can he not? But, yeah. was, uh, unless he's an alcoholic, then don't, he shouldn't do it. I, I was going to say, uh, Corey, Responsibly, everyone. Yeah, responsibly. You know, because if you're going to the wedding, you know, they're always a bit of a humdinger. You get on. Well, that's the thing, yeah. Like, and it's... Um, yeah, Wanaka, it's going to be sunny. Uh, it's all free, all the booze. Yeah, oh, is, yeah, that's oh, yeah, yeah. a nightmare oh, scenario. Yeah. Have, you got any, have you got, like, is it a plus one or plus three situation? You know, we can... Nah, no plus one. I'm the celebrant, though, so... Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. So I'm playing a big part in it. Make so, sure you don't eat at all during the day. No, no, I won't. I'll just, yeah, I'll start yeah, yeah. drinking on the plane in the morning. Yeah, yeah. And just <laughs> Stand in the not sun. Eat. Yeah, no, I don't, can't eat before a gig and then just... Yeah, man. Yeah. So if you're the celebrant, though, like, because... Do you slip any jokes in, or do they want it to just be all romantic and lovey-dovey? Or? They kind of want me to make it my own, which right. Oh, oh, that's a good oh, idea. No, yeah, don't no. do that, so, mate. Yeah, yeah. Don't fall for that one. Yeah, it's um, 
could curse them, to be honest. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. Well, Corey, uh, just those dates again, Keezy, very quickly, so that people know uh, where I, they well, can Well, I go. know for a fact you can find the tickets on Event Finder, but mm-hmm. the, yep, exact Event Finder. Dates, the exact dates with Corey Gonzalez, McCure, David Curios, and Paul Douglas. Douglas. Douglas, yes. So March 6th, Wanaka at the Ryman Reason Brewery. Uh, March 8th, Queenstown Sky City Casino. March 9th, Gore, Croydon Lodge. And the 10th, they're in Invercargill at the Tuatara Bar and eventfinder.co.nz for tickets. Bloody beautiful. Yeah, good on you, Corey, your massive backbone. Cheers, guys. Take it easy out there, eh? Yeah, well, will You know what I mean? Because that's that's son and Wanaka, she's bloody hot. Yeah. Uh, But... Yeah, sunscreen, man. Like Mogi said, yeah. probably don't eat anything. No, I'm not. I don't yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. no eating, just straight into the spirits. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one thousand songs, but only one can be the ghost. Two hundred and five. The exponents. Victoria. The Hodaki Big Show podcast. Yes, indeed. The boys are back in town. Thin Lizzy. Two oh three on the goat countdown. I think if we ever have to do a big show scenario where we all enter into a stadium, that should be our backing. We'll all go in there on scooters, man. Yeah, yeah. The right boys are back in town. Yeah, that sounds cool. The Big Show boys. Yeah. Hey, now listen. Uh, we've got a few more songs to go of the countdown today, but also after six o'clock, of course. What's for tea with me? Easy. That's right. Uh, text me through on 3483 New Zealand. Let me know what you are having for dinner. You can win yourself a $50 night and day voucher. Say who you are and where you're from as well. Uh, and yes, you're right. Two more songs for the GOAT just to get us nice and set up for the uh, next two days, which are going to be big days, fellas. Oh, yeah, man. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, also, of course, don't forget after 6 o'clock, what's on the TV with Mike Minogue. <laughs> also, don't forget what's on the tea table with old Keezy. Fellas. Indeed. Fellas. Indeed. Text through on 3483 New Zealand. <laughs> Classic one, guys. Really funny stuff. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Catch them weekdays from 4 on Radio Hodaki. Welcome back, your massive backbones. Great having your company this Wednesday evening. I forgot it's hump day, isn't it, fellas? Yeah. It yeah, is, but man. it doesn't feel like hump day to me. I feel good. You've been doing a lot of yawning, man. Oh, I have. Yeah, man. Right, okay, yeah. Hey, you're listening to The Big Show, by the way, brought okay. to you by Night and, yeah. and Day. Uh, by the way, Night and Day, our proud sponsors. If you haven't decided what you're having for uh, dinner yet, why not swing in, get yourself a topper and a thick shake. It's called a Keezy special. Ask for that. They'll give you uh, a dollar off. Will they? Yeah, uh, good stuff, Keith. They definitely will. Now, the podcast outro, uh, we always say this here. It's just another podcast we yeah. do. Go and check it out wherever you see your podcast. I don't know what was going on with Keezy today. He was off his head when he was doing the podcast. He was out of control, Mogi. He was. Yeah, I was de- I was definitely out of control. Uh, if you want to listen to today's outro, uh, search Hodaki Big Show, wherever you get your podcast from. Here's a wee snippet for you. What kind of coffee do you normally have in the morning? Dadoosh. Pardon? What kind of coffee do you normally have I in the off morning? With the, I start off with a, a latte. Oh, do you? Yeah. Are you on meth? Like, seriously. <laughs> I've never seen you like this. <laughs> yeah, so it's definitely me that was off my head. You sounded perfectly normal in that part. Thank you, Mogi. It was the other 20 minutes that were a bit skew yeah. yeah. Yeah, you do go and check out that podcast and get a. you can tell me what was going on with old Keezy. Actually, Speaking sorry. Of old Keezy, Hang on, wait. Like yeah, and what? subscribe, you know. Set to auto-download. Give it a five-star review. Drop a little comment. Yeah, man. Say, love Keezy. Yeah, good stuff, mate. Hey, uh, coming up next, of course, what's for tea with me, Keezy? So send through those texts on 3483. What? You can't say what's for tea with me, Keezy, when you're not Keezy. Right, well, that's, that's the, the name of the it. name of the band. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, right. yeah, It just yeah. might be confusing. I just, yeah. You're what good. about you also say uh, what's on the tally with Mike Minogue? Yeah, with Mike with Minogue. With Mike Mogi. Not yeah, yeah. With, with me. me, Mike Minogue. He doesn't have an issue with that, does no, he, Mogi? No, he's fine with that, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, oh, weirdo. <laughs> Anyway, here are the final two songs for today's Goat Countdown. Oh, but a weezer. This is Hodaki's greatest of all time countdown. 202, Weezer, Hashpipe. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Yes, indeed. Blister in the Sun, uh, Violent Themes 201. And the end of our Goat Countdown for today. Don't forget there will be a full replay of the Goat Countdown from today, from 7 o'clock onwards tonight. That's right. Big shout-out to Burger King and the Whopper, a.k.a. the Burger Goat, for making this whole countdown uh, possible. Of course, Friday, things will be wrapping up, so knock off work early. Get your mates around. Have a bit of a party with old Hodaki Blasting. And also think of Dan from Wellington, who's going to be flying up here to Hodaki Studio.
videos to the big party we're having and also potentially uh, winning 100,000 big ones. My man. So good, man. We're going to be calling him tomorrow, actually, just to see how he's feeling. So uh, Nervous, I'm picking. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm picking too, Jace. Crazy, eh? We're on the same yeah, wavelength, yeah. man. You guys are like two peas in a pod. Yeah, well, I was going to say, I was just thinking when, when Geesey said picking, I was... <laughs> Why do you keep bringing up nose jokes when I, you have the biggest oh, nose? Guys, guys, guys. guys. Keys. Keep your nose out of it, all right? This Jeez. is the big of peas, guys. What's for dinner with... Ke- oh, yeah, hey, guys. Text here from Steve. <laughs> What's for tea, New, New Zealand? Zealand? With me, Keezy. <laughs> yeah, real funny stuff, fellas. And... Uh, Hey, uh, great text here on 3483. What is it? Well, if you let me... Just schnitzel again, no sauce. Schnitzel? Schnitzel. That's all it says. Is it a chicken schnitzel? Chicken schnitz. Uh, Just text here, nah, it's not. Or is it a chicken schnitty? Nah, it's not a schnitzel at all. Chicken schnitty is big over in Australia. Huge chicken schnitty. I tell you what I like is a beef schnitty. I like um, with a, mushroom sauce. I love oh, a couple of big schnitties. Yep, big ass schnitties. Get a mashed potatoes and some yep. mushroom sauce. Uh, have a you had of them big schnitties? My uh, my mum makes a great stuffed schnitzel with ham, uh, with beef Parmigiana. schnitzel, ham and cheese inside it, and then you, crumbs it. You don't need to tell me that, Keezy. I've had it a couple of times. Have you? Uh, g'day, fellas. Greg from Southland here. Big pile of battered rings for me tonight. Cheers, oh, he's fellas. Got battered rings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Can you good. Just simmer down, please. Uh, g'day, guys. Stefan from Auckland here. Salad with chicken fillets, Mexican flavour, because I'm on a diet. Actually, here's a tip uh, Stefan or Stefan, uh, chuck some cottage cheese in there. High protein. Might fill you up as well. Nice one, Keezy. That's good eating. Thanks, fellas. Uh, g'day, You're doing guys. Doing a great job, Keezy. It's awesome having Th- you on thank board, you. brother. If I could just. Get through this. Uh, hey, fellas, Vegemite and chip sandwiches because I couldn't be effed. Yeah, Oof. I know the feeling. I know the feeling. A bit of Vegemite, uh, some uh, some chips, a bit of lemon zest, some cracked pepper. Oh, butter? Uh, butter? What? Uh, on the bread? Uh, Honestly, man. Jeez Louise. Uh, just on my front, on my food front, I was just texting my wife before saying, because I didn't, didn't prepare anything, she's been busy all day, and oh, no. um, she said, oh, should we just have takeaways? And I was like, oh, I guess so. And I'm like, yeah, boy. Get it in ya. Dodged a bullet there, you were saying, eh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you going to have? Well, I don't know yet. You know that, what you should that'll have? Be, that'll be another half an hour discussion that we have when I get home. Oh, God, will it? Oh, yeah. you might just pick it up on the way home. Well, maybe, if we you can decide. You can pick up a couple of big schnitties from somewhere. Uh... G'day, fellas. Keezy, you've given me an idea for tea on the run. I'm going to get a Keezy special from night and day. Cheers. A Keezy special? And that's a thick shake. Is that a steamer in the middle of the night? <laughs> Is that what we're calling yeah, it now? Yeah, Mike, he's going to go to night and day and, and do, do a, a steamer, steamer at midnight. At midnight. I'm not sure that he'll get a dollar off for that. No. Nah. probably get some kind of a fine. <laughs> so Pugs is dying at the B studio. Uh, a Keezy special is a topper and a thick shake. I'm not sure that it is. And if you go, hey, the old Keezy special, please, I'll give you a dollar off. Uh, Do you want- say, I'm, I'm here for a Keezy special and you start undoing your belt. belt. No? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Do you want any more texts? <laughs> yes. Really? Yeah. Uh, g'day, guys. No, not that one. Oh. <laughs> I give up. The Hodaki Big Show. Weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Yes, indeed. Verona there on the uh, Radio Hodaki Who by? Big Show. Pardon? Who's Verona by? LMNOP. Uh, thanks, fellas. Thanks. I nailed that one. Uh, but right now it's time for... Oh, shit. Sorry, fellas. Not ready. Uh, what's on the telly with Mike Minogue? Yeah. Yeah. I'm really letting the team down at the moment, guys, and I know that. Oh, with your years. With my watching habits. Oh. Not good. Not good. Well, you didn't even watch anything last night. Last night? Oh, no, the night before. Oh, the night before. No, well, I watched the cricket, man. Didn't I? No, you said you watched nothing. <laughs> that sounds about right. I can tell you what I did watch, though. You're not going to be happy, Jace. Is it going to be Seinfeld again? Because I'm going to massively deduce you if you put me through it. It was Seinfeld. What episode? Good question, Keezy, and I've got the answer for you. It's the one where a woman overhears uh, Jerry and George Costanza in the cafe and thinks that he's 
that they're a gay couple. That's right. Not that so there's anything wrong with that. Not that there's anything wrong with that. That's which was, right. at the time, you'll remember this day. Oh, Jace, sorry, what? A cultural... Uh, like a shift? It was a big thing at the it time. It was huge, Because yeah. it was like, oh, there's nothing wrong with that. Not, you know, I'm not gay, but, you know... Not, not that there's, there's anything, anything wrong, wrong with that. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But very, very funny. A great episode. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Thanks, guys. Such a good ep, Jace. You should get around it. Yeah, what did you watch, Keezy? Uh, last night, I didn't watch anything because when I got home, I said to my wife, um, Let's make love. Let's get baby. naked, baby. Let's do it. Ah, yeah. Come on now, old big keys here. Playing Play with my meat patty nibbles. I actually said, um, I don't think things are working out for us. Oh. Oh. Um, and I think we need to take a break. You should have got naked, man. Yeah. Oh, no, no that would have oh, made take it a worse. Break, take a break from country calendar, you mean? Yeah. Well, anyway, <laughs> fellas, it's not a good time for me. Um, so. When was the last good time for you, do you reckon? Oh, I can't even remember. That's nah. why I broke it off. I know. You know what I'm saying? I'm on a break, but I don't think it is a break. I think it's done. I'd hate to say that I didn't see this coming from a mile away, Keezy, but I saw this coming from a mile away. Nah, just just joking, fellas. And honestly, man, I think it's for the best. Just hold tight there, Keezy. I want to get this out. Hold your horses, mate. We think it's for the best, man, and we've been talking about it uh, both with each other, haven't we, Jace? Um, Yes. And with your your soon-to-be ex-wife. And it was <laughs> never going to happen. Right. Man. It was never a she good idea. That. Can I just say, eight tearful phone calls in a row, uh, the writing's on the wall, Mogi. That's right. right. You know what I mean? So I, just, I yeah. just say, pack it up and move on, brother and dear. Well, it's just that you I know, was... I just hope you can rebuild. Yeah. It was interesting, actually, because the, oh, what, com- what the, the, the last conversation we had was like, because she did actually mention the bur- burnt meat patty nipples. Did and she? she said that, you know, when she first saw them, she was kind of grossed out by oh, them. Yeah. Uh, but, but, but she thought she could save you. She thought she could save you, and she thought, I can overlook that. But then she you can't. came out of the shower the other night with a towel wrapped around your waist, and she saw them again and just was like... Rrr. Um, and what did she mention of, that the reason we get on so well is that she's got them as well? What burnt meat <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I watched Poacher Dude, again Dude. last night. Who? Oh, yeah, I saw that sitting there. It's good. That's great, man. Set in India. Subtitle. Very good. <laughs> Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Collective Soul there on the radio, Hodaki uh, Big Show. Now, I don't know about you fellas, but I am stoked. Uh, tomorrow night, uh, June, the second movie coming out. Yeah. Uh, and I cannot wait to see it. Now, my wife. Mm-hmm. Lovely lady. Who my hates. Wife. It's not her genre, Mogi. Can I put it Science that way? Science and fiction. Uh, but she loves she loves a movie. Oh yes. Uh, so I've convinced her to come with me, and she's doing it reluctantly. And now I'm kind of regretting doing that because I don't want a reluctant sort of person with me watching the movie. You don't. You don't want somebody who's going to be sitting there huffing and a puffing. Yes. And looking at their watch. Well, she's like not that. a huffer and a puffer. Well, though. she might be huffing and a puffing. Well, I've seen her huffing and puffing oh, before. Oh yeah. While well, you're even um, and Jeffing. Yeah, there's huffing and puffing and even and Jeffing. Well, tonight there's a double feature on. Uh, um, with the first June movie, yes. which will be good. Um, so I was kind of playing, but it's like nine hours, I guess, in total. What? The first, the remake of Dune, which is by Denis Villeneuve, um, is a great film. Loved it. And right. apparently the sequel is on a par with one of the best films ever made. I found out so on par with Shrek. On par with um, I'm a Believer. I was absolutely shocked to find out this afternoon we were chatting about this off air. Pugsan, yeah. I mean, this is his thing, has not seen June. I'll tell you what, I was shocked to find out today that Keezy, who does jack shit all day, has not seen Dune. Yeah. You know, I was shocked to find out that Pugs hadn't seen Dune. I know. What's that about? I mean, come the mind on, boggles, man. man. I mean, I mean, you know, you, you and me, Keezy and Pugsan, to a certain extent, we have a bit of gamer chat every now and then, and I know what Pugsan is into. For me, it is quite the revelation that he hasn't watched it, and I can only think that he's would be such a super fan yes, that he's you. gone. I'm just, it's like a little treasure, a little treat. I'm going to hold off for as long as I can, and then do 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 a double feature. Um, shag, marry, be friends with. Timothy Shamalama Ding Dong. The director. Who's in that movie? No. Oh, the actor. Yeah, 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 that's him. Austin Butler, who's the bad guy in the movie. The director. And uh, Zendaya. Is that her name? The, the, the female. The female lead. Yeah. Mary. Yeah. What was the other? What was it? Shag. Yeah. 
I'd shag Butler. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'd do. And You'd the, shag Butler? Yeah. And marry who? Uh, Zendaya. Yeah. And well, you're married, Keezy. Who Come you on, killing? Mate. Who are you killing? Uh, the Timothy Sh- Shamalama Ding Dong. Ding Dong. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, why is that? What would you do? Uh, I reckon I'd shag Shamalama Ding Dong. Then I'd marry him. And then I'd kill him. Right. And you let the others just... They can just hang out with I tell each you other. What, I've just been thinking about it, fellas. What we should do is a big show movie night. We go and have a curry. We get Pugsan with us and we all go out and watch a movie together. Will this actually happen, though? Yes. Next week. Next week. <laughs> Done. I'm busy. <laughs> the Hodaki Big Show. Weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Well, there you go, you mad bastards. That's your Wednesday show uh, done and dusted on the uh, Radio Hodaki Big Show. Nah, just joking, man. Hey, we've got a big interview tomorrow, uh, Mogi. It's a a secret, though. It's a secret. Um, (laughs) Quiet night for you? Uh, I mean, it's always a quiet night for you, let's be honest. It is, yeah. I don't know what I've really got on. Uh, It won't be much. You know what I'm going to try and do? I'm going to try and watch something, man, just for you. Thanks, man. Just for you, man. Okay, man. Yeah, that sounds good. Can cool, you watch man. something other than Seinfeld? Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Keezy? Hello. What's up with you, mate? Uh, <laughs> what's up with me? What's up? Tonight, I'll be driving home with my wife, so she'll be walking with us to the car park. Oh, yes. You guys uh, going to try and make it work? Yeah, we'll try. We'll talk things out, fellas. Uh, we'll patch things up. Don't you worry. I know you guys are worried about that. Um, yeah. We go, we'll cook dinner together, and then I might put her to bed and maybe uh, turn off all the lights, put my 3D headphones on, and watch June sitting about a metre away oh, from my TV. Have you, serious, have you seriously not watched As it? As a no. matter of fact, Keezy, that's what I might watch tonight. Yeah, refresher. Yeah. I've already watched it three times. Oh. You're the man, Jace. <laughs> Um, as for me, I oh, say so we haven't you, got Jace. time, man. Yeah, no, we've oh, run out of time. Because okay. yeah. the goat's gone over. It. She's all go today, man. Sorry. It's all good, fellas. It's been a busy day. It's been, been a busy nah. day. Nah, Jace, what are you up to? I'm going to get... No, we're serious. We are out of time. We can't. Uh, I'm going to hey. get home and put on my 3D headphones, my 3D glasses, and uh, watch June for the fourth time. Yeah, good idea, man. Yeah, and then probably go to the gym and... De- Hey, hey I'll tell you what, why don't, we, um, why don't we call each other on the phone and you, the three of us, and Pugs will all push play on Dune at the same time. Yeah. So good, man. How's that sound? Sounds good. But I'll tell you what, quite seriously, big show tomorrow, so make sure you tune into that. Yes, Keezy. Uh, after seven tonight, a replay of today's GOAT, of course. So yes. if you're working late, chuck on Hodaki. Don't forget Friday. Knock off work early, get your, mate, get your mates around and listen to the end of the GOAT countdown. So good. In the meantime, take care out there. Until tomorrow, see you later.